Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl, Philly Girl 31, and welcome back to another video. Hey. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? I just want to say I hope everybody had a great Easter. You had fun with family, friends, whatever you had planned, it came to fruition. So we're going to go ahead and jump in to a haul that we got from Bath & Body Works sale over the weekend. When I tell you it was bananas, and I really appreciate them <laughs> for dropping the sale. Not the bank account, but I, okay? But before we jump into this haul, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. We're still on the road to 1,500 subscribers, guys. We are technically getting closer to 1,300 subscribers as we speak. So, if you're watching, make sure you subscribe to the channel, get locked in, join the family. All right, guys. So Bath & Body Works pushed out. Guys, hold on. This is a little disclaimer. You see my hair? Do y'all see my hair? Okay. So now I, this is how I usually wear a middle part. Okay. I don't usually do the swoop to the side, but you see how jacked my hair cut is. I just said trim the ends. Okay. Because you can see my hair is normally one length. What What is this? Tell me. Look at this. What is, what is this? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but in case you start looking at me like, hold on, wait a minute. She was right. Her hair is off. Yes, it is. And that was just the side part. This is the straight up and down how I wear it in the middle all the time. So it is definitely giving, I don't know what happened. Even in the back. Look at that. Like what, what is, it's okay. Hair grows back. It is what it is. I'm thinking about dropping some braids in it anyway, so it'll grow back. Bath & Body Works had their sales of the Concentrated Room Sprays. I believe that kicked off on Friday of last week. It was, um, don't give me the line about the prices because they had so many sales for me to keep up with. I do have some of my receipts, so I can kind of tell you um, okay, they were $3.50. <laughs> so the concentrated room sprays was $3.50. In store, the candles were buy one, get one until Sunday after 6 a.m. Then they dropped a $12.95 flash sale for the three wick candles. They did a 40% off the entire store on Sunday, which was Easter. So you had a chance to capitalize on that. They also had a wallflower plug-in sale, which was $2.50 or two something like that. $2.95, $2.50, I don't remember. They had a soap sale. Soap sales running back again. I think it's three, either $3.50 or $3.95. And I think it runs up until today. I think today's the last day for that soap sale. So you have a chance if you need some soaps, you want to stack up on some spring soaps, you can do so. But Bath & Body Works was kicking out sale after sale after sale. Yes, they heard, they listened, they came through, okay? <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump into it. If you can see, this is what I got. Yes. <laughs> we got a small bag, we got a big bag. We'll save the big bag for last. So up first, we'll do the... Uh, Okay, we'll do the concentrated room sprays. Your girl got her hands on Brightest Bloom. Yes. These retail for $8.95 and they won't sell for $3.50. So anytime that I can capitalize on a concentrated room spray, because your girl goes through a lot of them, I will go ahead and stack up on them. Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I love the packaging for this year. So nice and sleek. What a pop of color. <laughs> Tropidelic in the building yes I would definitely use Tropidelic more so in my bathroom area brightest bloom be the powder room the bathroom area as well and pink pineapple sunrise I can use throughout the house so that's how I would use those sprays I was able to get a Calypso Clementine in the travel size mini but y'all tell me, is y'all tops doing this thing right here, janky little thing? I mean, it doesn't come off when I shake it upside down, but you touch it a little bit, it just pops off. I don't understand. But um, fragrance notes on this one, you know, it's it's that um, 
citrusy kind of vibe it gives you. I'm not really a fan of oranges or tangerines, but I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and I really enjoy this scent this year. This also retails for $8.95. I believe I got it when it was a $2.95 sale. This was the only one that I was missing. See how you touch it? The top just comes off. I do not like that at all. I don't know what it is. And I'll check the other ones in the store. And they were all having little janky tops on them. I don't know. But it is what it is. And then I got my hands on the infamous ice cream sandwich pocket bag holder. This is so cute. It looks like an actual, this is great for summertime kickoff. If you were a little kid back in the day, you know them ice cream sandwiches, the Neapolitan. <laughs> if you don't know what Neapolitan is, it's nothing but strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate. I usually like either the vanilla ones. I don't really care for chocolate ice cream, but when I got down to this part, your girl just threw it away. I didn't eat it or I gave it to a sibling. This retails for $8.95. It does have a magnet to open and close it. And then you put the pocket back inside right here. And I got my hands on strawberry pound cake to go inside the pocket bag. So I'll show you what it looks like. So that's what the pocket bag looks like inside. You cannot see it. It is actually covered, which I thought was pretty cool. So you have to well, you don't have to open it. You still can get to the top piece right here, but um, <laughs> it's more secure in here. And y'all already know, strawberry pound cake gonna get you hungry, okay? It is just that strong. Up next, we got our hands on, I got some candles. I got, um, a, let's do a free rewards item. I got the Trapidelic and the Moisturizing Conditioner for the hair. This retails for $16.95. This is rewards eligible. Your girl just went on ahead and used the rewards because I didn't feel like buying shampoo or conditioner and I just ran out of my Garnier Fruities. So one video previously, I did haul the shampoo and the Trapidelic and now I got the conditioner to match. So I got a set. I don't care what nobody says about the shampoo or conditioner. For me, it works fine. I will... Um, use a shampoo. I will use a conditioner. The conditioner works really good for natural girls. It detangles really quickly. I can definitely get through my hair a whole lot faster to detangle it after I use Bath and Body Works shampoo and conditioner. So I'm here for it. I don't know if anybody else has um, issues with it. They don't like it. Leave in the comments down below. Tell me why. But as for me, your girl, I like it. And it's like, um, let's see the claims on it. This one has B5, aloe, and vitamin E. And the fragrance, sorry, fragrance notes are Irresistible Passion Flower, Liang Liang, and Misty Rainforest. So it's really good. I mean, I don't know if it's paraben free. That's what I was trying to find. Okay, yes, it's made without sulfates, paraffins, or artificial dyes. So it is good for your permed hair, your relaxed hair, your um, colored hair, or your natural girl vibe. It is good for all of the above. You can use it. You don't have to worry about stripping your hair. But like I said, I don't have no problem with it. I enjoy it, actually. I just don't enjoy the price tag. All right, so this box right here... <laughs> um, I love the managers at my store because if I buy something that requires me to have something that I needed to keep in storage, if they don't have the original box, they will always go in the back and get me a box to put it in. So she taped it completely closed. She didn't have to, but it's all good. Um, let's just go ahead and open it up real quick. And this was part of the 40% off sale that they did on Easter. And I strategically did so. I went to the store on Saturday, right? I didn't know for sure that they were going to have the sale um, online for 40% off because everybody knows the stores were going to be closed on Sunday. One manager did say they were going to have flash sales. So just check your um, app or the website to see what sales they're going to have. But she wasn't 100% certain on the 40% off option that they were gonna have, if they were gonna have it. She did not know at that moment. So, 
as I was walking through the store, I said, well, just in case they do, let me see what I can capitalize on for 40% off. Make sure they have it in store. That way I can do a bulbous order and pick it up and it'll be in stock. You feel me? So that's why I went to the store on Saturday, kind of later on in the day. That way I could see what they had and hopefully they were able to <laughs> have enough in stock so it shows that it was available for Bulbous. So she did um, put the little bubble wrap around it. I'm apologizing y'all. This video is going to be a little bit lengthy because I haven't seen y'all in a couple days. I'm just recovering from Mark's madness. I just want to say thank you guys for rocking out with your girl. This is on a side note. <laughs> we made it through March Madness, 31 days of this face right here, giving you all different types of content. I did hauls. I did grocery hauls, store walkthroughs, um, first impressions, reviews, unboxings. I did everything that I, you know, felt that I could give you <laughs> in those videos for the month of March. So I'm super proud of myself and I'm super proud of everyone who tuned in and didn't miss a beat while we made it through March Madness. Because not everybody on YouTube does March Madness. And if they do March Madness, a lot of people do not complete March Madness. Meaning a lot of people are not able to, for whatever reason, do 31 days of content. That is really hard, okay? So for me being able to do so and completing that task, pat on the back to me and shout out and big ups to you for joining me in that right there. Okay, so <laughs> like I said, she wrapped this up pretty tight. Okay, so the retail price on this is $39.95. I already had one, but I like to have two of everything. Don't ask me why I didn't get the second one when this first came out, but it is what it is. But I got it now. If you don't um, know what it is, it is the glass butterfly. The only thing that, that I didn't really care for was the way that you have to set the candle on. I don't really think that this is super sturdy. It's sturdy enough, but not how a normal candle holder would be. Let's show you. Um, so, and I got it, it was 40% off. So it was probably like $21 or something like that. So this is how you set the candle on it. So that's what it looks like when you have the candle on it. And you hear it moving around, that, uh, it, it, not a fan, but I love the way the, the little butterfly looks. So I have to chalk that one up to the game. <laughs> so I was happy about um, being able to add that one to my collection. So now I have a set, so I have two. And I think just for now, one, if I see something that I like, I'm gonna just go ahead and get the two and not play that game of oh maybe they'll bring it back because I didn't know that this was coming back because my store had quickly sold out of this item okay so for them to bring this butterfly back in stock and have it in store I was definitely definitely happy all right so all right let's go ahead and jump into the candles the candles are the last thing that we have in this haul no particular order let's jump in all right, we finally got our hands on another backyard honeysuckle. Fragrance notes on this one are sweet honeysuckle, orange flower blossoms, and the rolly nectar. I do already have one, so this is my backup. So now I have two of them. I don't know why I was up at the top for this one, but this one has that embossed <laughs> copper top. I don't know. Or hammered top, as some people say, but I have two now, so... There we go. I do have our extra hammer top, so I'm just gonna take this out and swap it. Let me know in the comments down below, what did you guys buy on the sale? Your girl finally got another one of the coconut pina colada. I love coconut, I'm here for it. I haven't burned this candle yet, but I will be going ahead and lighting it this week. Um, that's kind of like my purpose for buying backups because I like to have two in the collection. And then if I can get my hands on a third one, I'll go ahead and light that one, review it for you guys, bring it to you, let you know my thoughts on it. But if I only buy two of something, it's gonna take me a while to get to it because I really don't wanna touch it if I absolutely have to. So a lot of people ask me, um, 
Why do I have so many candles? What do I do with my candles? I am a candle collector, number one. <laughs> number two, I do, um, I'm an influencer, so of course I'm gonna have candles. Like, why not? <laughs> but um, it's it definitely takes me longer than the average person to get through candles. My goal is not to get through every candle that I own, no. Uh, my goal is to collect as many candles as I can. That is my goal. So if you did not know that, here on the channel, you are going to see me have a lot of candles. And I mean a lot of candles. I mean, every time a candle is being released, I'm going to at least get one from that collection. So that's what I'm doing. Um, coconut milk, blended pineapple, and splash of rum. I am here for it. This is my third one, like I said before, and yo, I cannot wait to go ahead and light this baby up. The candle I do have lit, and I will uh, do a review of it. I just burned it probably like an hour ago, so I'm trying to give it to like the two, three hour mark. That way I can do a quick review, first impressions. It's not a new scent to me. It's, um, oh, something. Oh, God, I can't think of the name of it, but, um... It's not a new candle, new scent, but I will bring it to you guys in another video. And your girl will be doing her, <laughs> after I get through the hauls, that review, I will be doing an empties video. And then after the empties video, stay tuned because your girl will be doing her candle collection video. Highly anticipated, highly reviewed on uh, social media like I love watching people's candle collection videos so it is highly requested here on this channel so you guys will get that video well not video videos because I'm breaking it up into sections but it is coming this month so <laughs> I can't wait stay tuned <laughs> sugar lemonade this is my backup of this one I do have like six in my collection not of this packaging I love this packaging I think this packaging is so beautiful it just has that bright yellow. I'm here for it. It gives you that bumblebee sitting on that little rose right there kind of vibe. I'm surprised they didn't put a bumblebee in the picture here because that that's beautiful to see a butterfly sitting right there. But it's all good, though. <laughs> Fragrance notes on this one are fresh lemon juice, sugar crystals, and crushed ice. Retails for $26.95. The other one is also $26.95. I got these for... The BOGO, either I'm not going to, I don't remember which one was BOGO, buy one, get one, or which one was $12.95 because I did a bulbous order for all these candles, so. Fresh Cut Lilacs. I thought the packaging was really cute, and plus, I like to have, if you can see behind me, <laughs> collections. Uh, if, I, if I'm collecting, like, um... Uh, if you see like this little collection right here of candles, I try to get all of them if I can. I like to keep them on display. I'm not a crepe person. All my candles are on display on shelves, either in this area or in that area over there in my living room. So when I tell you all my candles are not in crates, mm -mm. once I get them, I put them up on shelves. So I am not that crepe girl. Fragrance notes, lilac bouquets, dewy greens, and soft spring air. This is your floral powerhouse, 10 out of 10. It will blow you out the water, okay? If you like strong scented candles, that one right there will definitely do it for you, along with sugar lemonade. Those two right there, baby, when I tell you. All right, y'all. Strawberry pancake. I... I don't know. I think this is becoming one of my favorite scents. I know this is definitely in my top 10. I just enjoy strawberry shortcake, strawberry pound cake, sorry, <laughs> which reminds me of strawberry shortcake, but I'm here for it. Like I used to love strawberry shortcake growing up as a little kid. The, we're talking about the little, the little doll, strawberry shortcake. Yes, the show, strawberry shortcake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a fan of it. So of course I would love strawberry pound cake. And it's also that other packaging that matches the collection. Fragrance notes are fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream, strawberry, st strawberry shortcake, definitely. I love, love, love this scent. And this is also a powerhouse 
10 out of 10, blow you out the water. I don't care what you have it in. If you got it in fine fragrance mist, hand sanitizer, candle, body lotion, body cream, hand sanitizer, like <laughs> wallflower plug-in, refill. It will blow you out the water, okay? Powerhouse. Y'all know your girl loves her powerhouse scents, okay? I don't like these little light scented candles. Give me some, give me some power to it. And my last candle, I had to get a backup of Book Loft. Because <laughs> I only had one. So, I don't know. Let me show you. I'll show you the other part of the. You see it there? I only have one of the Book Loft. So, now we got two. I like to keep them in order. Like, I don't know. Everybody has a different way. If you're a candle collector, um... I don't even want to say a collector, but if you enjoy candles and you display them or you, you, you know, you have a way of organizing them or keeping them situated, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't do mine by seasons or nothing like that. I just do them by the collection as they come out. So <laughs> now we got book love, the other one. So cozy up under a warm blanket as you turn the pages of your favorite book. Um, this one is a masculine scent. This one definitely gives you library vibes, gives you that feel of a nice Sunday afternoon. You're curled up underneath your blanket. You're reading your favorite book. You have a cup of tea. This one right here does it for me every time. Some people are comparing this to Bridgerton Study, and I can see why. Um, it's in the same family, but it is not the same candle. I am definitely here for it. Um, Bridgerton study is like I said before that dude with that good 800 credit score and book loft is 750 credit score okay so <laughs> he still got good credit okay <laughs> but um yes that's definitely definitely a good one to have in your collection if you don't have it there's going to be a candle sale coming out on Friday don't know the price of it yet I won't know the price maybe until like Wednesday or Thursday so give me no Today's Wednesday. Give me till tomorrow, at least maybe, or, yeah, or Thursday evening, I should know the price of it. And I'll either jump back on, on um, my community post and tell you the price or do a video and um, give you my suggestions for what you should buy for the next candle sale. That'll be another video. So, and I'll tell you the price in that one, but it is coming on Friday. All right, guys, that is a huge little haul combined into one, okay? Because I wasn't going to break them into pieces, but I'm like, no, just go ahead and give the people what they want. Give it to them. That way you can put it up and it's not just sitting in the corner in a bag. Because that right there, when you have OCD, you'd be surprised at the things that just, you can't function unless it's done. That's how I am. So if I have, if I go to Bath and Body Works, I'm that type of person that goes to the store I'll buy it, I'll haul it, record it, and then I'll go ahead and put it away. I'm not that person that's two, three, four, five, six days later <laughs> and then come around and then get, I just, I can't have it sitting. I have to have it put up. I was raised that way. It just stuck with me. I'm just that person that has to have order. And that's just everything in my life. I don't like chaos. So if it's sitting where it's not supposed to be, it's going to irk me. So... I have to put it away and I live alone so I don't have no excuse okay I only take care of me and Zoe that's it and my man but <laughs> that's a different kind of take care of but anyway yes that was only grown folks okay if you're not grown you didn't don't pay attention to that part that part <laughs> all right guys I will see you in the next video peace and thank you for watching